Oh, yeah, we're starting on that Facebook. Hello. G'day, g'day. Welcome back to The Last Lines of Noobs and Men. I'm Sean. I'm Liam. And we're here to have a yarn about uh, our new favourite legendary legion, the uh, the Vanquishers. So uh, we had a tournament very recently. Um, hopefully the video has gone up uh, about our experience with <laughs> the Vanquishers of the Necromancer Legendary Legion. Um, mm. It wasn't it wasn't pleasant no uh, to say the least no but um as i think we will mention at some point in the game i think um the terms liam uses is a perfect storm it had yeah. at that event the scenarios the armies that went up against and just the points value itself yeah. definitely helped it and also because we're in this weird transitional phase where this is the first time it was taken to an event. Nobody really knew what it was about, what to do against yeah. it. They know what it's about on paper, but on the table, it's another yeah. story. So the four people that went up against it were like, oh, oh, yeah, and it, it was got fucking rough. hammered into the ground. And I was it one was of those four rough. people. So, yeah, well, we have first-hand experience with the new Legendary Legion uh, mm. sitting right here. Qu- quick recap on the Legion, I reckon. All right, quick recap on the Legion, what it can do, and then I'll talk about my jazz, yeah. and then we so go from there. The list that we came up against was uh, Elrond, Saruman, Galadriel, and Radagast. Yes. And I personally, I think that is the absolute perfect list for this Legendary Legion, given like the points value that you'd have to have to build that list, and then the armies you're going to come up against at that points value. Well, it, I think with the Legion in general, Gandalf, uh, you take him if you have to because of points, and the same as yep. the Sledge, you take it if you have to because of the points. That's Otherwise, it. you don't need to do anything with those two. They're not that important, yep. whereas Radagast and Elrond and Galadriel and Saruman are the key, the, yep. the, the four pillars to that army. There's no like lower points value because that comes to I think I think I remember it was six hundred and thirty points, and there's yeah, no points value. Points yeah, there's no points value lower than that that you'd ever take this list because then you're having to drop either Elrond or Radagast, and dropping either of those I think makes this like a much worse list. Yeah, El- Elrond's but- your killing power. Radagast is your yep. staying alive power. Um, and he does yeah. it so damn, so yeah. damn. So, Raddy's healing the whole army, um, and uh, potentially Saruman's, twice a turn, I should say. Potentially, potentially twice a turn. Yeah, uh, Raddy's not only healing the whole army, but uh, he can heal one, heal once, and then uh, if you're actually in combat, he just knocks the entire team down with uh, with nature's wrath. My army which is moving three inches that entire game. <laughs> It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and then you've got uh, Galadriel, who is your blinding light, who is your banish. like your banish. So you're just throwing banish at just any model that you that come up, you come up against. You're just like, yep, yeah, I don't want that to be alive anymore. You throw a banish at it, it might get a free resist, but you've got one dice to get a six, and they have you know like potentially even if she only throws one dice at the banishment. She, and uh, re-rolling she has the, cast on yeah, that as well. the re-roll from Saruman, and then a plus one as well, doesn't she? I can't remember. I think it got to that point in the game where I was just, <laughs> just like, yep, yeah, sure. Oh, it's, it's a plus one to resist, sorry, not okay, a plus yeah. one to the spell. But still, like, <laughs> she potentially, even just throwing one dice, has two dice to get that six. And then you only have one to go, oh, I need this fucking model to live. I need a six. Not going to happen. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, Saruman, two, two spells a turn, Sorceress Blast, providing the re-rolls. Yeah. You can do it all in uh, combat. Um, Elrond, just free heroic strike. The just banner. Killing power. It's just, yeah. Cool. Thanks. Um, yeah, so how did you, how was your experience? Uh, this is where we flash up, you know, those uh, PTSD Vietnam yeah, flashback it's an, things. It's a Nam image, yeah, for sure. 
Um, it's just a slow zoom. In. It, <laughs> it started off with me being called to verse him and realizing my army can't do anything against this. Like literally nothing. We were playing fog of war. I genuinely was about to just go, I'm just going to forfeit the game. Cause I literally can't do anything. Like there's just nothing. Yeah. But I thought bugger it in the spirit of the game, I'm going to attempt to try and get some VPs. And it turns out those yeah. three VPs were very fucking important for yeah. um, me placing fifth. So I'm happy yeah. I did it. Uh, so this is why you don't just forfeit games and you just try your best to to get um, get scenarios. It doesn't yeah. matter how bad the game Never is going concede. for you. Yeah. Um, even though I did genuinely consider it and it was the first time I'd ever considered just not playing a game. Um, and a couple of people did even yes. just do it as well. There was one person for sure that just walked away. I was like, I'm not having none of this. Bye. Um, and do and, you know Fair enough. Because... He couldn't do anything either with his army. No. Um, but first turn, terrifying, oh, channeled terrifying aura. You've got to roll D3, um, D3 dice for your courage, courage. and you choose courage. the lowest two. Yeah. The army's that's also only to charge. That's only to charge. It's Saran only to charge the wizards, the wizards, because they can pop it. Oh, they both can cast it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that happened. First turn, both of them popped it. I was courage two, courage three. Um, with rolling. Harbinger. Three dice, yeah, because Harbinger you know, from uh, Galadriel. Galadriel. Cool. Um, I decided to, like, completely split my force. Just, I thought, I need to split his army up because that's the only way I'm going to be able to deal with it. Um, split my force up, running around the board. I used six points of March that game. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> just to get away. <laughs> just to play, essentially to play for March. time. Yeah. Just to play for time. And that was it because that's yeah. all I could do. Um, but he was able to track down everything so quickly. He would he would get to like a small blob of my guys and it'd go, Sorcerer's Blast, banish. Just b- everything's dead. Ugh. Oh, you're going to try charge me? Too bad. You can't because Charol Terrifying Aura. Oh, some of them made it in. They've been knocked down. Yeah, and then I just murder you. Um, yeah. yeah. And even if I lose the fight, you can't strike me. Yeah. And so then I thought, cool, we're playing Fog of War, so I'm going to try and protect my guy. He's going to get his target, so I'll sacrifice that, whatever. I'm going to try and protect my guy, and I'm going to try and get my objective. I'm going to try and stop him from getting his terrain piece. That, w- that, that was my three goals. <laughs> Very fucking quickly, I lost the guy I was trying to save. So suddenly I'm trying to keep my, my terrain piece, and I'm trying to keep him off of his. Um. Which, to be fair, you you it, it's possible you could have won that game had yeah. dice oh, been I think it would have been slightly different. I think it would have been a draw. Um, so I had <laughs> still very good. I would have been happy with that. I was holding on to my terrain piece the entire game, so that's fine. And I eventually ended up getting it. Um, and I thought, cool. The only way I'm now going to be able to play this is if I break myself. So I just threw everything towards him. Just my entire army just uh, to break myself i was sitting on his objective i knew i knew what it was because he had asked me a question halfway through the game I was like oh for this terrain piece do i need to be sitting on it to count as my objective and i was like ah oh, sick so that's your objective and he was just like yeah <laughs> <laughs> trying to break myself event I, I was stabbing i think nine of my own guys died through stabbing in one turn which was incredible and it's what i needed i was like whoa I'm yeah fucking luck boys um but so I got onto his train piece. I was sitting on it, blocking him from getting it. But then just those banishes, it was just banish, banish, sorcerer's blast, you're now off the objective. And so it's one of those things where I tried every trick that I know of. And I'd like to think I'm a relatively decent player who can pull out stuff out of his bum. And I tried everything in my brain, everything I could to, to you know, win. Um, or not win, but like try and get as many points as I could. It's yeah. just nothing. There was just nothing. Absolutely nothing. I, could, I didn't get to shoot at all that game. Like, not even into blinding light. Just nothing at all. Um, mm. So I did, at points during the game, I was rolling my own dice, thinking I was in another situation where I was like, I've got 10 shots with my Dale Bowman, and I'm shooting 10 hobbits. 
uh, I hit on threes. There's my threes. Cool. I need fours to wound. And so I was doing that <laughs> during the game to roll dice because I don't care yeah. if I win or lose. I just want to roll dice. <laughs> like, yeah. that's what I'm here to do. And this yeah. Legion doesn't allow you to do that. For certain armies, for sure, yeah. So And your army specifically was, yeah. So I got, I think uh, he curb stomped everyone. Yeah. That he burst. I think he got, all, all, he almost got 12 for every single yeah. scenario because he almost got full, like, points for the entire tournament. The tournament. That's I think he was yeah. one point, I think he got 129 points where the yeah. total points you can get is 130. Looking, looking back on the tournament, so... The tournament was 650 points, which means he can get a fantastic list at 650 points. There was no, like, proper objective scenarios. Like, there wasn't a capture and control. There wasn't a domination. There wasn't a command the battlefield. Like, those ones where you really do have to hold so many different areas and you can't, like... You know, like capture and control, obviously, you run around and tag each objective. But, like, by the time you do, if you're as a blob still... Your opponent's just like, oh, I'm just going to walk behind you and keep tagging them as you do. Like, you're never going to hold that many objectives. We only played one objective game, and it was uh, it, it was, was divide middle, and conquer. Divide and conquer, which objectives are in but the middle of the board. The the middle objective is also um, worth more as well. It's worth five points as opposed those, to like the other ones. So like, you, you could just kind of sit there and last turn you can spread out. Maybe like it's my not only. That kind of rebuttal to that is um yes you need to split up in games like domination and whatnot um command the battlefield but i attempted to do that against him and it did not phase him like trying to make yeah. his army split up he just went around the board and he went oh my four guys are going to take on this group oh they died now we're yeah, going to go but, over here and and yeah, so I that's feel the like thing though you can do that in domination Smile yeah. win domination, baby. I've seen it happen. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing, though. In domination, like, yeah, sure, you can move as a group. Like, if, if say, for instance, you've spread out and tagged all the objectives, yeah, sure, you can move as a group and go to each objective and kill everyone on there, but you're not going to hold that objective at the end of the game because so, you don't have any models there. Uh, big strat for domination, you only need three objectives. The other yeah, two don't, but don't they, the, in all like, in all likelihood, unless like at the very last turn they suddenly split up, and even then, I don't think they're going to be able to get far enough. They're gonna have to split up at some point. Command the battlefield. You cannot have every I, battle piece without I having completely think, separate models. I honestly think command the battlefield is its weakest scenario. It has to be, but also command the like hundred percent. There's, there's still. Well, I know like this guy has won domination with this army on a couple of occasions because yeah. I spoke to him uh, about. It. I was asking about. It. I was like, "How's how's to not like domination and and capture and control?" And he goes, "I think I've lost three of those games out of like eleven games he played or some shit." I was like, "The fuck has he played eleven games fuck? for Legion? Holy shit!" Yeah, he, he was like, <laughs> because the games go quick. The games are quick true. with them. Yeah. You can blast yeah. through games, and and that's what he did. Um, and so I think he said he played 11 games and he lost three. All that being said, uh, in the last couple of days, we have, uh, we have definitely, I think we've come up with some really nice lists or like really solid lists that can challenge them in every regard rather than just denial. Yeah. Um, My favorite one, there's, there's one list that I'm excited about or a faction that I'm excited yeah, about. So, um, uh, a couple of a couple of ones that are that are relatively obvious are ones that uh, have a lot of magic resistance, and so at the tournament, which was uh, a per an opponent that they never came up against, but there was uh, Nick, one of our players, had a really really good chance with his Lothlorien list, uh, and his Lothlorien list was uh, it was Galadriel and Rimmel. Uh He had uh, two Wood Elf Sentinels. He had uh, a bunch of uh, Galadrium with spear, bow, shield. Uh, he had three knights. He had five guards of the Galadrium court. This list, I think, stands a really good chance of, of going 
toe to toe with with the Vanquishers. At, yeah, at at the tournament, out of all the lists, this is the one that I wanted to see go up against yeah. the Vanquishers because this had the best chance. It, I yeah. still I because I was the only one who played it and saw them on the table. I believe that they would have struggled. If or not struggle, but it would have been a really tight game. Sorry, between the two of them, it would have been a real yeah. nice, tight, close game, which is what I love. That's which what is I want to see. Game like I, it, I don't, yeah. I, I don't want to like see. Oh, there's a list that's going to beat them forever. Like that, yeah. that's the only list to play against them. Like, uh, it's still good that there's tight games, but yeah. I still think that this list, I, I would say, six to seven times out of ten beats the In- Vanquishers. In any hardcore objective game, this army, hands down, has the advantage and wins it, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, if I didn't go up against the Vanquishers, I would say this Lothlorien army beats the Vanquishers in any scenario. But after yeah. going up against them, I start to lean into that. I think the Vanquishers make it a challenge and Lothlorien makes it a challenge and it becomes a real tight, close game. Which, as I said, I want to see that. That's what I want to see. Yeah. I want to see those yeah. tight games. That's how it should be. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, the things that the things that are that scream out to me as the big advantages they have. So they have uh, they have base fight six on a lot of warriors. So if you're coming up against a Saruman or a Radagast, you're able to outfight them as long as you're obviously not knocked on your ass by Radagast. But to help with that, they've got uh, blanket resistant to magic. They're, they're, the the army bonus is a blanket resistant to magic, and then Galadriel can also cast heroic resolve, uh, which gives them more resistant to magic. Yeah. Um, does so does got... Galadriel have the um, the anti terror spell? Is it Aura of Command? Uh, no, but Kelleborn, Kelleborn does. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that, Kelleborn that... can also do. That is key against it. That would be amazing against it. Yeah, Celeborn can also do a lot. But even then, like, they've got a lot of courage. Uh, even with the Harbinger, like, a lot of their yeah, models courage, are still courage. courage five. Car- no, Courage... Well, the the, sent- the Sentinels... No, not Sentinels, sorry. The, the Guards and the Heroes are all Courage five. The Lads are Courage four. That's still... Even with the, uh, you know, rolling three dice, taking the two lowest ones... I still think they make it like 50% of the time. The other thing that is uh, is good about this list is that uh, Rummel, if you throw Rummel into one of, say, even the bigger boy, like throw him into um, Galadriel or I would say Elrond, but Elrond has the free strike so he can outfight Rummel regardless. But Rummel's parry, I think, is also really, really key yeah. against these models because suddenly uh, they've only really got... Well, Elrond has two re-rolls because he's got Lord of the West and uh, his own little banner. Anything. But the other lads the other lads only have one re-roll. Uh, and if, yeah, if they don't get the, don't get the six, then Rummel's going to beat them. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he, and he, he can, can mince through them, especially if they get the yeah. trap on them. Because they're all... D5 if, everywhere? Yeah. Maybe Galadriel's D- D3 still? Uh, I don't know. She is only D3, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought maybe War Aspect had extra defense, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, no. At higher points level, say you do come up against them at 800, even if they've got Gandalf, you've then thrown Kelborn in, and he will also absolutely rinse through a couple of, a lot of these boys. I think um, bring, bringing in Kelborn is tips it over immediately for me to say this beats Vanquishers. And because, that's well, Aura Enchanted of Command. Blade, Enchanted Blade and Aura of Command, either of those will do yeah. a lot of damage. That, that Aura um, of Command, because I think I, if they didn't have um, the channeled terror thing going, I think I would have stood a slightly better chance because I would have been yeah. able to get in there. Yes, I would have been knocked yeah. on the ground, but it means I can hold them up yeah, I can yeah. Make them holding sit. them up is huge. I can sit in a corner, whereas I was failing nearly all of my courage. I'd get one guy in, maybe. And so I couldn't hold them up. So they had free reign to run around the board. Whereas if... Yeah, so if, if you, you can if, actually hold them. Yeah, so I think even, even any army with major bodyguard um, special rule is in for a shout. 
because yeah. they just oh yeah big time they just say cool I'm charging I'm just gonna hold you, you now have corner. to kill me yeah like I think whole dwarves of... actually in that in yeah, that regard but... like uh, uh, Kazadoom actually has a yeah. good chance if you just throw a bunch of uh, Kazad guard into them like yeah sure you're gonna knock them on their ass but I don't know if they. I mean, like, they can obviously kill them. Like, they're only D7, but, like, it's a lot harder for them to kill them with because they're D7. Yeah, I would love to build an army now of just Citadel Guard. Yeah, just, actually. Just pure bodyguard. And I would say, cool, I'm going to play objectives and the, the entire Citadel army, Guard is going to hold you I'm forever. Just, I'm just going to trap you for the whole game. I'm just going to do circles around you and you've got to break out of these fucking circles. Every model you don't kill hold you up for another turn let's yeah. fucking go and that's what yeah, i was thinking no, I love earlier that. today was that's how i want to counter it one because it's fun in my mind um to play <laughs> just citadel guard it's probably not the most efficient way to beat them yeah. but it feels like it'd be fun yeah absolutely no that's yeah it's a great shout as well like um yeah the reason i really do lean towards lotharian is because they can you can just make a really normal army like that will go well against other armies and then still do really well against the vanquishers. Yeah. In terms like, of normal armies, this is the one. And as you say, yeah, it'll do well against the vanquishers. And it also does well against regular armies. Yeah. So you don't feel like you're trading off going to a tournament going, I'm going to build a, to face a the list. vanquishers, yeah, but to struggle face vanquishers. against normal lists. Yeah. And that's, I think that's a big thing uh, as well with the second list that I've got, uh, which um, was a mixture of people's ideas, <laughs> is uh, Numenor. But yes, yeah, so uh, Elendil himself uh, constantly has Fortify Spirit on himself. So he's just got two free resist rolls. Amazing. Uh, Isildur uh, is getting the resist from uh, himself, uh, just a regular resist. Um, and then everyone within six inches of a Landil or a Sildor are also getting a, a free resist dice and their fight for strength for the little beastly boys. Yeah, blood and Numenor, um, baby. Yeah, um, and then, like, I mean, a Landil or a Sildor could absolutely rinse one of those boys, especially, like, any anything in that army, even, even Elrond, will struggle against an Elendil or an Sildor. And what you need to do is flash kill one or two yeah like you're not trying like in most cases when you go up against heroes you flash kill when you have the opportunity to do so otherwise you're doing chip damage throughout the game to kill them vanquishes you have to flash kill from the beginning because radagast goes oh renew oh i'm touching your base so here's what is it d3 wounds back or some shit it's on a on a natural six i think they get d3 wounds back on a i can't remember if it's a three four five or just a four five they get a wound back um but yeah he he heals a lot uh so even if you're if you're only chipping them it does take uh a lot longer um i still think you get through them chipping them uh because radagast can only do so much Especially if you're chipping all of them, he's like he can only really heal one, two models. If you're chipping all of them, you're eventually going to get through them. Uh, but yeah, it's oh god, it's so hard. You then really do have to hope that uh, your resists are coming off. And as much as I like the the blanket um, resist and the magic that uh, Lothlorien gets and the blood of Numenor that these guys get, um, and it is the only Shai gets dice. it as well. It's one dice. So if you don't have that hero in there who has multiple will, you're preying on one dice. Yeah, it's, Which it's, is it's not, rough. It's not reliable. It's good to have and it can come off, but it's, yeah, it's not reliable. No. So uh, one list that uh, Sean did actually come up with uh, entirely on his own <laughs> was, uh, this is Sean Kenny, by the way, um was throwing in kingdom of moria uh with balan and floy uh and throwing some ballistas so yeah using floy to turn off blinding light uh and then just trying to shoot the piss out of them with ballistas (laughs) (laughs) it's 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 one of the like as much as i love it it is list tailoring towards vanquishes 
Yeah. You go no. up against another army and you're like, hmm. ballistas will still do a good amount of damage. Oh, no, they'll still they'll still do damage. Keep in mind they are hitting on fours, and so that's a big 50-50 roll off. Yeah. I've I've seen games where those ballistas will do everything. I've seen games where they do nothing. They do nothing, yeah. Which so, is why I think what you try to do is take two. Yeah. Um at 650. But another thing that I uh tweaked a little bit with making a list was throwing in a shield bearer. Uh, because if they've got that channel terrifying aura, the shield bearer within 12 inches can make can have you re-roll that courage check as well. So you have double the chance to tie them down. And also if you just throw Gazard Gazard Guard in there. Yeah, bodyguard. Bodyguard. Yeah. yeah. I do like I I do like that list. Um I think that would be a lot of fun. Just to watch a ballista use its piercing <laughs> thing to shoot yeah. like, multiple of them. Because if you this, hit on the right so angle. Much joy. <laughs> Oh my god! If you hit on the right angle, you can hit all four of them. Yeah, and then they all scattered. They're all knocked prone. They're all taking a bunch of hits. They're all on their ass. You just then go in and go, okay. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> like, High natured wrath, you motherfucker. Yeah, take this nature's like. wrath. It's a fucking ballista bolt. Wrath. <laughs> With metal nature, this shield. you fuck. <laughs> Dodge this, you filthy casual. <laughs> The piece de resistance of uh, lists that can go incredibly well with uh, against the vanquishers. And guess what? Other it's, than... it's super cheap to build because you just need to walk outside and get and some, grab some twigs <laughs> and get some twigs and put them on forty mil bases, and then it's get two, on, get baby. two little boys and put them on top of the twigs and have them machine gun stones. So, uh, Fangorn, holy crap, uh, when we was we were on the car home from the tournament, and I think it might have been Sean K just said Fangorn, and all, both of us, all three of us, were just like, oh! <laughs> I was like, oh, of course! I wish I had a camera in my car to capture the reaction of all three of us when the word Fangorn oh. came out of Sean's mouth, and we all just lost our shit. Their army bonus is massive. So... <laughs> Uh, they are fearless for starters, which is huge. Uh, just being able to walk into them regardless of what you do. The, uh, they are completely unaffected by magical powers or special rules that were, would prevent them from moving or move them against their will. So suddenly you cannot transfix them. You cannot wrath the Bruin in them. You cannot you can't command them. them. You can't command them. You can't, well, Elder My Magical, but that's completely separate. <laughs> um, they are completely unaffected by Nature's Wrath and Wrath of the Bruinen. They they counter almost everything that that list throws at them. Uh, they're Except also for like. Elrond's high five. Well, that's the thing. Even though, even then, Treebeard's fight eight. He hmm. also has strike. Yeah. Uh, the base ends are fight seven. Uh, Beachbone, uh, no. Yeah, Beachbone is Beach also Bone fight Quick eight Quick. with strike. Yeah. Um, you also yeah. have throw stones. <laughs> you have throw stones. You have, if you if, if you, you get actually, that one six, if you hit with that six, you're if you hit Galadriel man. with it, you're wounding her on like fives. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's the strength of the stone? Strength eight? strength one D three. No, no, as in like the, the rocks, the boulders. Oh, the, the big eight. rocks. Oh, you fucking wrecked <laughs> them with the big rocks. Yeah, you, straight oh, you get that six in there. Fuck. This strength 10, baby. <laughs> um, and then they've got the other huge thing they have is uh man is uh sorry, monstrous powers, uh brutal power attacks. They don't so count as suddenly... strikes, baby, but well, it doesn't even, really matter. It doesn't because matter you're for not that list. Yeah, it doesn't matter for that list, but the biggest thing is that you can go, oh, uh, I don't really want uh Elrond to be near the lads to give them the banner. <laughs> Catch you later, Elrond. I'll deal with you in a minute. <laughs> like, and then, oh, okay. I don't really want Saruman to be, you know, uh, get, giving the cast bonus. <laughs> like, you just throw them across the fucking board. It's amazing. I am. Um, uh, yeah, this uh, is my favorite list to go up against them. And I'm segueing into something else now. Woo! I there, there's a few lists that I want us to play, test, and maybe even bat do a reps. bat rep on and the yeah and the two that i really want to do a bat rep on number one is hobbits yeah. i want to see vanquishers versus hobbits 
and number two is Vanquishers verse um verse ants uh, ants yeah but yeah hobbits is another thing we didn't super mention but yeah resistant to magic they've also got resolve on two heroes is um, it two of two yeah oh yeah two it's yeah sam, sam and, frodo. and frodo 73 um, throw stones all of galadriel exactly. <laughs> I hitting mean, that's the thing. Doesn't matter. Bye. Yeah. Hitting on sixes with 70 odd dice, you're definitely going to fucking hit. There is, a, a, I've got literally like a full on list of stuff that we haven't super mentioned, but stuff that can potentially go really, really well against us. Let's list. just name off a few. Um, we yeah. won't go into detail about them, but we'll just name off one or two. So um, the big one is the Necromancer, which is essentially the anti Vanquishers Legendary Legion. So the, yeah, both of those lists can yeah go against each other. That's the whole point um, of them. A really fun one is the Warbats. Just a list with Warbats <laughs> just going. <laughs> so um, all you do is fly over the top of them and do straight four hits. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, another one that I love dearly is Khan Chariots. Yes. You don't need Terra. You just charge into them. You just charge into them, do strength four hits. Uh, they also can't be knocked off by Sorcerer's Blast. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a fun little list as well. Um, so uh, ones that I actually really like. Um... <laughs> uh, the Dormer Lake. Um, uh, his special rule of Sap Fortitude. Uh, you spend a point of will and then suddenly uh, all of the vanquishers uh, casting, using magic, all of that good shit, uh, they have to double what they're spending. Um, well, on a four plus, they have to double what they're spending. And on, an, um, on top of that note, another good one is anything that's got sap will. Yes, sap will in general. Plus. Um, another uh, other list that will go quite well, I think, is any siege weapons, which, uh, but, you know, a use for siege weapons. I, I, <laughs> I think I will like and use siege weapons more if vanquishers appear more. <laughs> I yeah. think I'm going to hate vanquishers more than I'm going to hate siege weapons at this rate. Yeah. And uh, monsters in general, because even if they're not on their ass, uh, like you said before, the power, power attacks, attacks don't count as strike, so you can still wound them. Still do rend, still do hurl, still do uh, barge. Anything with fortify spirit, though, is that as well? Which I think, and uh, this is going to be a little awkward for a video that we release later. Gandalf the White is actually going to be really good against Vanquishers because <laughs> he can give fortify spirit. <laughs> the tier, baby. <laughs> there, there I think at the end of the day, there's definitely things that can be done against it. Yeah, I think the, the big problem, which I mentioned before, is that it's so new. Nobody knew really how to deal with it. Didn't expect it to be this good. I do think there is a, a change coming in the winds. I think a yeah. new meta is brewing. Yeah. Um, but I think what's going to be interesting, and it was something I think we discussed uh, off camera a little bit, but the... Yeah, sure, there's going to be Vanquishers appearing. And then there's going to be lists that try to tailor toward Vanquishers appearing. But then there's going to be lists, regular lists, like standard lists that you can then just build that will do really well against the tailoring lists. So I think in the end, as much as this army will be a pain in the ass if you do just take a standard list, in the end of the day, I think you can still take standard list tournaments and still do really well. The problem I have with them, which once again, it's something we touched on <clears throat> before we started recording, was there has been incredibly overpowered lists before. Look at Riders of Theoden, um, and then whatever else, all these other ones. Rang it's Rangers late, of I'm tired. Rangers of Athelion. <laughs> that um, you put them on a table, and there's games where they have distinct advantage, where it's like nine times out of ten, I'm going to lose to this army but there's still a chance. Whereas I went up against the Vanquishers, and like that's using standard lists against these legendary legions. I went up against the Vanquishers, and from the minute go, there was no chance. And that's my problem with yeah. it, was the fact that there was absolutely no chance. What gives me hope, though, is that both those lists that you've mentioned uh, uh, have been... Nerfed. Like, 
yeah, they've been seen form. as super powerful, and something has come out that has gone, okay, that list is a little less powerful. It's still used, but it definitely isn't as strong as it once was. So, yes. like, uh, Gambling's Banner and having Frodo to take, Sam uh, Gollum. Frodo Sam Gollum. Yeah. Uh, I think there's definitely going to be something that comes out that will make this list a little less viable. Uh, but I, I, I really do hope, uh, I do firmly hope that this isn't a list that comes off the table because of a nerf. Because I'm, I'm not look yeah in, in my humble opinion, I'm not looking for a ban. I know that there's talks already, um, in the Queensland scene and the Victorian League of banning this legendary legion. I don't want to ban. What I no. would like is let's see what happens with it in the next few tournaments. Let's yep. give it some time to breathe. People have now seen what it's capable of. We That's can it. react to it. Um, but I am pro future nerfing of this list. I just something that gives it a little bit more of even, a balance. Even if it was you like only one sp- one spellcaster per turn can cast in combat. Yeah, that's still powerful. You don't need all yeah. of them to be able to do it. Maybe Saruman doesn't have his uh, bubble of rerolls or, or bubble of rerolls. Yeah, his... just yeah. Th- there's small things that can be done. No, but I think what will happen is now people have seen this list. Uh, people know what it can do, and clearly have seen it go very, very well. Uh, there's going to be lists that come out that will try and deal with it. There will be lists that come out that try and avoid it. There will be lists. I like, I like this because it's a huge shakeup of the meta, which arguably was getting into a point where, oh, hordes, I guess, like kind of thing. Like, uh, 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 putting these lists out as much as they really do hurt to come up against if you're not prepared knowing now what we know of oh this list is pretty fucked um you can then have (laughs) people who will list tailor there will be people who will build better better lists to deal with them or you just kind of hope that you don't come up against them that's going to be my strategy yeah but then there's going to be i think what's going to be big is that there will be more people who go i'm going to build a list that's going to go well against it like a Lothlorien, like a more hobbits, like the ants, all that kind of stuff. It will bring will out come armies out. that you don't see as much, which yeah. is which is and, nice. And that oh, that's what I love. Like that a, a breaking of the fellowship can also go really well against them. Their list that nobody really runs, but now they have a use. Now they have a, a window that they can go. Oh, okay. So people, are, a lot of people are losing to vanquishers. There's going to be maybe more people bringing vanquishers. I'm going to bring this fun list that I've never really been able to run that I know will have a chance against vanquishers and I can still do well in other armies, like other games. I'm really keen to see what happens. I really don't like the idea of nerfing straight away. I think that's really... Not nerfing, sorry, banning straight away. I think that's actually a really bad move. Not only is it a slippery slope to banning more legendary legions, it's also just, it doesn't like breed uh, change and innovation. And I think that's a, a mistake. Yeah. I, I'm i so excited that this has actually happened though, because I've been wanting to run Ents for a while now. And like, like I mentioned before, I see that this can go really well mm-hmm. against Vanquishers. I want to come up against Vanquishers now, uh, but it's a list that, yeah, maybe won't go very well against Dale. Maybe won't go very well against other things. It's. It. I'm. I. I'm, I'm excited. just salty. Like I'm excited about it. I'm happy that this is, this legendary legion is here. I'm just salty that it had to be me. <laughs> like <laughs> it had to be you that was one of the first to experience how bullshit. I was thing. I'm trying to up my league points. <laughs> why, why me? That's what I'm mad about. Yeah. Why did I have to? Why did I get slapped around by some old people? Because that's what it is. It's four yeah. old people. It's just four really old around. dudes. It's like that old lady from Madagascar with her handbag beating up the line. That's what it felt oh my like. God. That's so funny. So, um, yeah, look. That's my only question. Couldn't it have been literally anyone else? 
<laughs> Actually, no, to be fair, I, I am kind of happy it was me that got beaten to the ground. Because um, now we can make this video. <laughs> Content, Sean. I'm not happy, but I'm also like, yeah, I was one of the first that felt the pain. <laughs> Geriatrics came out and slapped around my young spry Dale boys. <laughs> These elite warriors that have been training for all their life. They've come out of boot camp, well, boot camp. They've come out of their training fields. They've walked into the battle and they've seen four old farts. They can't even hold their own bowel movements and they get fucked. Uh, Vanquishes. Yeah. Thanks boys. for. Uh... <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, I hope this is an interesting video. Uh, it was just something, um, me in particular, I just really wanted to talk about this list because I think it's uh, coming out preemptively that uh, we're, not, we're gonna ban this list and blah, 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 blah. I think mm. I'm, a, I'm just, I'm genuinely, this, this list, as much as it is bullshit, it is making me more excited to play the game because there are, new things happening and that's very exciting i love yeah, that no, it's as i said i'm just mad it was me um but i am <laughs> i i am excited by it i i'm yeah. i'm happy that yeah as you say innovation is brewing new metas coming into play it's it changes up the game and i like that like comment subscribe all that good shit uh let us know below what your thoughts are have you versed the Vanquishers? Uh, have you, you played want the Vanquishers? To them? Oh boy, howdy. Uh, now, hot diggity dog. That was a fun one. Have a good one, guys. Catch you later. Bye.